In our last session, we have seen an example of value and constant service. In this session, we will see what is filters, how to use filters in AngularJS. Filters in our program to format some data or to format some string. So in this session, I am going to tell you something about AngularJS filter. So what is filters? Filters are something which manipulates data and uh, which you can format according to what you want means the way you want your data to be displayed in uh, your view in that format you can do that and for that reason what you need is filters so AngularJS provides this feature through which you can achieve this uh, goal so uh, thing is that in order to use filters AngularJS provides different kinds of filter so what are the benefits of filter then then what uh, if I am going to use it then uh, what benefits I will get so first of all you can format your data suppose uh, I have some date to be displayed in my view and uh, I want that date to be displayed in different format like that uh, YY MM and DD or it could be like uh, DD MM YY so whatever the format uh, should be so that you can do using filter so for that angular JS provide uh, inbuilt filters that is uh, date filters and there are so many inbuilt filters like date filters uppercase filters and lowercase and so many more so in this way you can format your uh, data which is being displayed in your view so apart from this what you can do is you can create your own filter as well means uh, you can create your own custom filter so that facility is also given by uh, AngularJS which we can uh, use in our program so overall we will see uh, basically on these things which I have told you and we will see step by step how it is uh, going to work so first of all I hope that you have understood that uh, what is AngularJS filter and uh, why you should go for it so this is all about AngularJS filter and AngularJS provide two different types of filter the first is uh, your inbuilt filter that is uh, provided by AngularJS itself and the second one is uh, custom filter so which you can create your own filter okay so uh, these are the different types of filter and before that I, I want to say you that uh, in order to use filter how you can use it so for that uh, AngularJS uh, provides a functionality that is called uh, pipe symbol and pipe character so in order to use filters you have to use a pipe character in your uh, angular snippet in your view so inside that view inside it could be anything like do or a span tag or anything so if you want to use filter you have to use the character the pipe character which you can see in your keyboard so when you are using a pipe character so it uh, angular just knows that uh, yeah it is uh, going to use filter okay so where we can use filter and how in which format the filters can be used so filters are basically used inside your AngularJS expressions inside your uh, directives uh, you can call it as a directive you can call it as a, as a function so these are the different types of uh, calling filters and basically uh, AngularJS provides you a uh, filter which is uh, which you can use in your module like we have a use controller that like uh, angular uh, dot angular dot controller okay suppose I'm declaring some variable that is where is equal to angular dot module and my module name so in this case in this case what I will do is uh, suppose where app is equal to angular dot angular dot module okay then I will do that uh, app dot controller I have done this in my earlier session in many programs so similarly to that I will write uh, that uh, app dot uh, filters okay and that filter will have two parameters one is my filter name that would be my custom filter name and another one is the function parameter okay so in that function body I will return something so in this case I will in this manner I will achieve that uh, custom filters okay so this is the basic idea of uh, how to uh, do how to do operations in filter how to call them okay so uh, as of now I have sold I have already told you that uh, filters are of two type first is inbuilt filter 
and second one is custom filter so for inbuilt filter inbuilt filter there are many types of inbuilt filter like uh, upper case lower case date filter currency filter number filter and many more so by the name it suggests that uh, uppercase means something which would be definitely converted to uppercase if i am writing some characters in lower case and uh, after, when i will going to use it uh, the uppercase filter then it will automatically convert my all the characters to uppercase and the case where i will use lower case and if i am writing something in uppercase then it will automatically convert those characters into lower case so in this manner uppercase lowercase filter work in case of uh, date filter what we can do when we are going to use that uh, date filter we can simply change uh, the format of date in different format like i have told you that uh, dd mm yy or it could be yy dd mm anything what you want in case of currency filter you can do like if i am writing some number it returns me some currency value like if i am writing 50 and i am using currency filter on 50 then it will what it will return is dollar 50 so in this manner the inbuilt filters works in AngularJS. so you can see the list of uh, inbuilt filters which is uh, being displayed over here and uh, in this manner there are many filters like uh, you can use in inbuilt filters okay so these are the one aspect of filter and the other aspect i have told you that is custom filter which is more uh, appropriate and mostly used that could be uh, very beneficial for you um, so in order to use uh, custom filter you simply uh, get that function that dot fil dot filter you use and inside that filter you write your custom filter name and uh, inside that function body you write your uh, functionality which you want to return when calling that filter so in order to call that custom filter what you need is you simply uh, after the pipe symbol after the pipe symbol after the pipe character you simply write the name of that filter so when you write the name of that filter suppose it's my filter and when you are calling it then it uh, when you are running the, that program then it, it will definitely call that uh, filter which is uh, written inside your script file so it will call that filter it will evaluate those expressions and it will return something which you want for that particular uh, line of code so in this manner the custom filter works okay apart from these what you can do is you can also order by your data suppose i have some uh, uh, data inside my array inside my array i have some uh, name of cities name of person and if i want to uh, display those data order by uh, city name then it could be done by using this filter only okay for that case what we will do we will simply use that order by which is uh, provided by angular js it is also an inbuilt functionality so we just need to use that that is order by if i am suppose i have an array uh, of a student and i am using that array inside my view okay so i am writing something like uh, ng repeat is equal to obj in uh, student then pipe symbol and then i will write order by student name so when i'm writing order by student name it identifies that uh, yeah i'm going the person is want to display those data which should be in order of student name means the student which has alphabetic name in order will be displayed in that order means uh, if i am uh, ram and my friend is uh, abhishek then abhishek will display first then ram so in or in this manner that order by works so uh, this can be done in order by and apart from this there are many things which we can done using filters another is uh, limit to we can also limit our uh, data which we are going to uh, display in our due so we can limit those suppose in my array i have uh, 16 elements uh, want uh, to be displayed only five element means i want only five top five elements should be displayed so for that what i will use and then at that moment i will use limit to so if i write limit to five then it will understand that only five records uh, user wants to display in their page so it will restrict all those records which will beyond five it will display only top five records so 
in this manner there are so many things in filters you can do and you it's a very uh, useful feature you can apply in your uh, program you can uh, perform uh, many tasks in some easier way so this is all about angular js filter and uh, uh, hopefully uh, you will be able to understand the whole uh, thing of uh, this AngularJS filter by uh, going through the example which I am going to uh, show you in my next session. So after uh, going through those examples you would be able to understand AngularJS filter very clearly and completely. So friends we have seen that what is filters and how to use filters in AngularJS in our next session we will see uh, an example of inbuilt filters